I bought this zinc sulfate from the farm supply in hopes that I could use these salts as uh, my electrolyte for making this, batteries. It says on here feed ingredients. So these are food grade quality ingredients. It's not now I originally tried using them just as they were and I did get results. Now this past week I have tried purifying them, trying to make them closer to uh, technical grade or reagent grade. Okay, so here I am in my kitchen. <clears throat> what I have here is a, a, a jar full of, uh, full of that uh, zinc sulfate. Now, what I'd done last night, I heated it in this, um, in this uh, big container in a, a water bath and I bubbled oxygen through it trying to precipitate any of the remaining iron out of it. Now, if, if you can see in there, there is quite a lot of precipitate. Now before I did that last night, I ran it through three filters. Now you can see here, there's, there's quite, a, quite a bit of precipitate, or quite a bit of crap that I filtered out. And it's all that uh, iron three sulfate color. Uh, all these filters are the same color. I made this big filter to filter out this out my uh, zinc sulfate solution. I hope the, these uh, shop towels or well these cheap uh, towels work as an initial filter. I also added a little bit of um, um, diatomaceous earth to add to the filtering and nucleation of the iron. So that'll take a little while and I'll probably have to filter it again. Hopefully I can get most of the iron out of it. I'm gonna also, once this is done, I'm just gonna run a passive um, oxygen through it for a number of days to see. I've had it running now for a couple days, probably about, eh, not quite 48 hours. I've been bubbling oxygen through it with my little uh, water hydrolysis system. And uh, of course I've also been producing hydrogen, which uh, I just uh, generally keep uh, releasing outside and I keep making bigger and bigger bags but this uh, solution started out pretty clear and as you can see here my camera focuses I've had the oxygen bubbling through this sodium sulfate now for probably another four possibly five days. I just just let it run and run 24 hours a day and uh, as you can see there's quite a sediment of uh, precipitate which I presume is iron sulfate and the solution is clearing up quite nicely I think it was clearing up quite quite nicely yesterday, but I just kept letting it go. So I think I'm ready to run another filtration on it. And hopefully now I've gotten it all. As you can see, I'm sitting there bubbling away. And that's all I've done. I've just put the, the hose on the top and just let it continue to bubble. So I've been working on this for about a week now. And uh, I'd say I got sort of a success failure here. Um, I've filtered out a, a good amount of um, this brown dis or this brown precipitate um, I presume is iron but um, I let I did after the last filtrate it was a really nice clear solution 
Uh, I ran one one more day of oxygen through it and I've just left it sitting here since and it looks like I've got another good amount of precipitate at the bottom of the bo of the bottle here or of the jar here I can focus Um, it does seem to be working but it's a very slow process so <clears throat> I, I did make some batteries out of this solution this is started off as a 3 mole solution it's evaporated down a bit so it's probably gone to, close to its max by now it's probably about to start crystallizing on me uh, maybe three and a half moles so uh, I well when I made made a battery from this immediately I noticed more precipitate coming out of it which um, made me realize that ha that's happened before that's what got me started on this and got me thinking that maybe a different approach is uh, is necessary or may work better maybe I should have right from the start tried making a big cell from this and then just charge and discharge it because um, I can put a a nickel strip in there with a carbon cathode and as I charge this solution Zinc will play it out onto the nickel strip, and when I discharge it, the zinc will completely dissolve back into the solution, and the oxygen that's produced at the cathode oxidizes the solution probably better than than this setup, and I'm also gaining back the power that I've put into this solution, so. I'm getting a more intimate um, mixture of oxygen. I'm getting the, the benefits of dissolution of, of the zinc back into the solution. I'm getting the precipitation. And maybe maybe I have a better maybe it's a better system overall. So that's my my next attempt. Make a cell just for purifying this. That's a charge discharge cycle to see if I can precipitate out all the impurities.